Welcome back, you're cooking with the Alpha Golic again. Tonight, we're making pizza. Nothing better goes, nothing else goes better with pizza than wine. Pour you a nice glass and come on and cook with me. Seems about right. Oh yeah. All right, tonight we're using basil, marinara, tomato paste. This is our, just tomato sauce. I got vegan cheese. I got my flour, and I'm actually gonna spice mine up. Whoa, got my yeast almost got away from me. I'm gonna spice this up with turkey bacon. This is uncured turkey bacon. I got this at Sprouts. If you have a Sprouts near you, this is the butcher shop, I believe, and it is actually Sprouts' brand. It's uncured, it's not like your Hormel. That's all like diced and highly processed and homogenized, or I don't know. It just doesn't even look like turkey bacon. This is the good stuff, it's the real deal. I also recommend, if you um, can find it, Applegate, I believe is the other brand. And it's the same thing, it's called uncured turkey bacon. Let's get started and cut. First, we're gonna have to get our yeast going. What is it, a quarter teaspoon? Dang it, I already forgot what I wrote down. Yes, quarter teaspoon, quarter teaspoon of yeast, half tablespoon of sugar, half tablespoon of salt, and I have three quarters of a cup of warm water. And I'm just going to pour her in here. A little whisk here, just mix her up. Oh, you can smell it already. If you wanna add a little bit of extra yeast to this, you can, it'll just make your dough a little bit fluffier. Once it's all mixed up, we're just gonna sit here and let it froth up. While you wait, you hydrate. Get your turkey bacon going. You can throw this in a little skillet with an olive oil or you can bake it. Once your bacon is done, ooh, let's chop that up. Ooh, here's a cool tip. Underrated tool of the kitchen, kitchen shears. And I will literally just take these. Hot, hot. And then you can just, I love my kitchen shears. I actually really need a better pair. These are some cheapo ones, but you gotta make do with what you got. Bread flour, we need to talk about it. Seems like bread flour actually is a lot better. It makes a crust that's actually enjoyable. I've just found personally, I like using bread flour as opposed to all purpose. With that being said, I have one and three quarter cup of bread flour here. I didn't tell you this beforehand, but I also have a little olive oil and oregano that I'm gonna spice up my flour, my dough with, my crust with. We got our yeast and everything. It's cloudy, it's a little frothy. And we're gonna put this bad boy in here. I swear I've used this before. There it is. Five minutes later. It's locked in. No, it's not. It's locked in now. Okay, here we go. Hydrate. And I'm gonna turn this on just a little low setting here. Like I said, I have one and three quarter cups of flour. I'm looking for a good consistency in my bread that's gonna be sticky, kind of holding together, not too dry, still a little bit wet. But if I need to, I can add a little olive oil in there to help it out. And I'm definitely gonna be sure to add oregano. It helps you not have a bland crust. So we're just gonna add in a little at a time. I've added about half of that to it. I'm gonna take a little bit of oregano. This isn't really professional because I'm no professional chef. You don't say. But I just like to eyeball it a little bit. Kind of sprinkle it around. All right, we're gonna add a little bit more flour. Our flour is a little, or our flour, our dough is just a little sticky. Chandler, I haven't mentioned this, but this recipe is for three 10 inch pizzas. So if you want to make six, if you're trying to feed a whole family and you want to do personal pizza night, double the recipe. I mean, 10 inches is a lot to some. Next, we wait. Another tip, flour sack towels. I come from a hand towel family. We don't use, paper towels are just for like small little cleanups. Hand towels are used for napkins, they're used for cooking, but these are my favorite. These are flour sack towels, you can buy like 20 of them for 10 bucks. But what we'll do is we're just gonna take this little towel right here, get it damp, not soaking wet, and I'm actually just gonna cover this. Loosely covered, and we wait. We're about to kill a bottle of wine on this one recipe, so, and then we'll switch to bush. All right, so it's been about half a wine glass, 
with an extra pour on top later um, or 15 minutes and our dough has risen lightly flour cook top <laughs> the tabletop I'm gonna work it till there's no actual like creases in it and it's just one nice beautiful ball all right now that i got her i'm gonna have her oh that's that good see me rolling the hating give me a cookie sheet get a nice coating of olive oil on the bottom here one important thing that i have found out that i love to do is i like to pre-cook my crust just a little bit before i add my sauce and everything on top of there pro tip is perforate my pizza but doing this will actually keep your pizza dough from sticking bubbling up make sure your oven is at 450 degrees i'm going to keep an eye on them i'm going to set a timer just for five minutes as a reminder to look at it um and i guess let's just roll on this other pizza i'm gonna pour us a little bit more wine actually make it the rest of the bottle oh Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Take our sauce, spread her out. This is your pizza. Make it how you want to make it. If you want a lot of sauce, put a lot of sauce. If you want a little bit of thin sauce, put a little bit of thin sauce on it. Vegan cheese, vegan mozzarella, soy free, dairy free. It's also gluten free as well. I bought this at Sprouts. Next your bacon oh the delicious turkey bacon we'll take these back in there pop them in, in the oven 15 minutes later pizzas are done i'm out of wine oh let's check the pizza oh yeah look at these bad boys it's alpha friendly vegan cheese delicious turkey bacon the only thing left to do is cut it and enjoy drink a beer with me cook some delicious pizza and have a great time and don't forget to like subscribe and comment what you want me to cook next <laughs>